We uh, also welcome Emily Taylor into uh, the Great Britain crew, sitting at four, 21 years of age from Leander Club. I'll go through the names and the clubs in the course of the race. There, inside Netherlands in lane number six. The Netherlands, four of the, the crew here rode in the pairs earlier, earlier on, so they didn't actually race in the uh, in the uh, race for lanes in the eights uh, a couple of days ago. So uh, they are un 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 unknown, an unknown quantity, um, but four of their athletes have already raced today. And Shalinkins in the coxing seed of Netherlands as they come under starters' orders. Poland, China, Great Britain, Romania, Ukraine, and Netherlands. Netherlands. Light delay on the start, nervousness now, but it's away first time. Green light and Great Britain are in lane number three, being led out of the starting block in the first five, six strokes by Netherlands in lane six. Top of the picture, Poland in one, China in two, Great Britain in three, Romania in lane number four, Ukraine in five, Netherlands in lane number six. And an important result for all of these boats here today because the United States of America and Canada world and silver medals medalists respectively are not here so big big day here to put in a big result and at the moment Netherlands out to a quarter of a length in less than the first minute that's pretty impressive because they will still be feeling that the four the four athletes who raced earlier in the day will still be feeling the, uh, the, the lactate in their in their legs um, and uh, that'll be quite a, quite an effect have quite an effect in the middle of, in the middle of this race but they got away well and uh, with a bit of luck they've uh, sorted themselves out but they've got a really good half length here but great britain looking full rhythm from uh, netherlands in lane number six they really know how to row eights whether on the women's side or the men's side here now just holding on to about a third of a length over great britain in lane number three the british crew come into 2011 and through the first timing mark with a new coach they have uh, nick strange uh, coaching them one time uh, team member in the men's lightweight category and the international medalist good guy good coach so a couple of changes tweaks at the edge for a crew that finished fourth place behind the romanians at the world championships last year romania got the bronze medal and now Great Britain, here they are, leading Romania by three quarters of a length. And uh, who would have said that in the years gone by, Romania used to dominate, such dominance in the women's events, and particularly the women's eight. Well, Great Britain have actually checked the Netherlands, uh, because the Netherlands did move out well, and uh, looked at, as if they'd settled into a very good rhythm at 36 strokes a minute. And Great Britain, same, sort of, same rating, same sort of speed of... Uh, of uh, stroke rate, but they are holding it and they are moving very well. So these two crews out in front with Romania, as you say, unsurprisingly, out in third place. In the race for lanes, which Netherlands did not partake. Great Britain finished first, slightly ahead of Romania and China, well off the mark. So the two crews really were Great Britain and Romania who'd shown some form, but we hadn't seen uh, Netherlands rowing. Netherlands now out to about half a length. Great Britain starting to push on. And we've got in the stroke seat Karen O'Connor and the British crew from Oxford Brooks Boat Club just pushing it on now before the 1,000 meter mark. The British crew having to attack and attack they will, and they are now starting to move back again on Netherlands. Netherlands in lane number six. They've moved to about of a third of a length down. That's better than the half length that they had going into the halfway mark. This is the final of the women's eight. And Caroline O'Connor in the coxswain seat to the left of your pitcher there now just driving this British crew on. That includes in bow, bow seat, Joe Cook from Leander Club, Alison Knowles from Thames Rowing Club, Jessica Eddy from University of London Boat Club, Emily Taylor, new uh, woman on board here from Leander, Natasha Page from Gloucester, Louisa Reeve also from Leander and welcome, welcoming back Katie Salisbury in the seventh seat also from Leander in the stroke seat 
Lindsay Maguire from Wallingford Rowing Club, a good crew. She was at four in this boat last year, moving up to the important stroke seed. And Great Britain are definitely putting a uh, you know, bit of a move now on Netherlands as we look at China in lane two. China have had a strong, a strong showing in, uh, in eight. Uh, they found big athletes in the north of China and they put them together very effectively. But this now is Romania and Romania are pushing back all the time. But Netherlands had to go out fast and now those legs are going to start to hurt in the, uh, in the middle of the boat where those big athletes who were raced earlier in the day in the pairs, they're now going to feel the pinch. Great Britain, a real chance here for them. You compare and contrast the styles and Great Britain really hit the catch. They put it on hard and through 500 to go. Great Britain now starting to squeeze on again over the crew from Netherlands who have led pretty much from the first stroke. At one point, Netherlands had half a length lead. Look at it now, it's a canvas, if that, on Great Britain. So the British crew coming back on Netherlands, but the British are also drawing with them Romania in lane number four. This is all getting very close as we come through 400 meters and Caroline O'Connor really urging them on now in the stroke seat. Lindsay McGuire sits in the stroke seat, leading them up through the race. That fantastic movement there from Great Britain. They've got about a canvas to go, but the Netherlands holding on. They've gone up to 40 strokes a minute, the Netherlands, and they're just beginning to move away again. Great push there from Great Britain, but they can't actually maintain it. 20 strokes remain. You can count them from here up to the line, and still the British crew throw absolutely everything at it. But calm and composed, Netherlands in lane number six. Their style is unruffled in the blades go. They're just moving good boat speed, actually moving out now from six feet, back out to a quarter of a length, on and out towards a third of a length. And here now, finally, Netherlands respond to the barrage of attacks from Great Britain in lane number three. It's going to be a gold medal for Netherlands. It'll be a silver for Great Britain, who have pulled away themselves from Romania. Gold for Netherlands, silver for Great Britain, pulling out over the bronze medal going to Romania. Well, a great performance from Netherlands, unruffled throughout all of that, considering the attack they came under from Great Britain. Yes, they, 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 they managed to overcome that disadvantage of having raced, four of them having raced already uh, two hours ago, two or three hours ago. So that was really quite a, quite a, a, a performance from them. Um, it, you know, it paid off not racing in the, uh, in the, um, the race two days ago, in the uh, uh, race for lanes. They, nobody knew quite where they were going to come from, but that was a great performance from the Netherlands and a step up for Great Britain because they're in some, they're in a pretty, pretty big group of, uh, of, of good boats there. Just what I liked about the uh, Netherlands was just their execution, really just out into that middle thousand where they had a very containable rhythm, everyone moving around at them. So Netherlands get the goal, Great Britain pile so much pressure on them in that final closing 500 meters, but it wasn't good enough. Romania get the bronze today.